Hello internet world, welcome to my review of the Cyber Acoustics Matterhorn. This is a professional USB recording microphone with lighting on it as well that was very kindly sent in to me free of charge by the manufacturer. Now no money's changed hands, they haven't asked me to say anything in particular. I'm purely sharing with you my experience of using this and an audio test so that you can make an informed buying decision. So let's get on with the review and let's start by just taking a quick look at the box. As I said, this is the Matterhorn from Cyber Acoustics. Take a look on the side, it says it's a pro microphone. You can use it for podcasts, interviews, voiceovers. On the back here, we've got some of the main features. A dual polar pattern option, so you can have a cardioid directional recording, which is really useful, or omnidirectional. We've got various sampling rates up to 48 kilohertz, 24 bit. Also multicolored lighting, adjustable desk stand, a mute switch, mic and headphone volume control, and zero latency monitoring. It works with Mac or PC. So a nice fully featured microphone here. Inside the box, we get some instructions and also a support information card. We get a cable for connecting this to your computer. Now this is micro USB to full size USB. So a sort of an older connection here, but still it works, it gets the job done. And then of course, we get the microphone itself. And the first thing I noticed upon unboxing this is how heavy and how sturdy the desktop stand is. Very, very impressed with this. We've got little rubberized feet on the stand and just a really secure, solid base. This is a matte finish. And then we move up to these two side arms. So it's a U-type stand, and this holds the microphone in place. We can loosen these off uh, and tighten them up to make it either easier or more difficult to angle. Now the body of the microphone is plastic, but it seems like a good grade of plastic. We're looking at the front at the moment. We've got some headphone volume controls. We've got microphone volume control. We've got the lighting button just here. We've also got a mute button on the top here. So all of the controls we need easy access to are on the front. We've got this plastic grill across the capsule at the top. And then this is where the lighting is on either side. And then if we turn this round, we've got the two different pickup patterns on this button on the back. And then we've got a headphone monitoring port and the connection port just here. Now on the bottom here, we have got a threaded mount. We can use this to thread the microphone onto a boom arm, for example. So we could remove it completely from this stand and put it onto some sort of boom arm. Now something else that is included inside the box that I forgot to show you earlier is this 5 8 to 3 8 thread reducer here. This is really useful. If you are gonna take it off of the stand and pop it onto a boom arm, you can thread this in here and then this will accommodate a larger threaded mount. So really nice that they include everything that you need inside the box. I really do like that a lot. So I think the really important thing, obviously with a microphone, is how does it sound? So let's do that right now. So the audio you are hearing now is from the Cyber Acoustics Matterhorn microphone. I think it's a really good performance considering the price point. I've got it sitting on my desk here and it's ran about 12 inches away from me. And I think the audio quality is a nice rounded audio. What I would say is the microphone is quite sensitive. So I've got the uh, volume of the microphone set to just under halfway. And in my recording software, I've got the gain set quite low as well. If I was to tweak this up, you might find that you end up with distorted audio or quite hot audio. So do bear in mind, it is a sensitive microphone, but it does pick up a lot of details in your voice. And it's also exceptional value for money. You can also see here, if I just switch my audio back to my regular mic while I'm moving this around, that we have got some RGB lighting and I can click the lighting button on the microphone and change this and cycle around various colors. It's nice that we've got some lighting on the side. It makes it look pretty nice. You can turn it off completely if you want to. And I think it's just a nice added touch to the microphone. Can I recommend this? If you're on a budget 
and you want something that performs well without spending too much money, it's definitely worth checking out. I want to thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please do hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the links down in the video description to pick up one of these for yourself. And I'll see you in another video very, very soon.